65 million years ago, an asteroid six miles wide hurtles down from the sky and smashes into the Gulf of Mexico. The impact signals the end of the dinosaur age. Their extinction claims half of all species, turning the Earth into a wasteland. But insects endure. How insects outsurvived so many other animals is still a mystery. Some scientists believe the asteroid's impact caused a temperature shift that put insects into hibernation. When they re-emerged, they flourished, developing new ways to reproduce at staggering rates. But in the insect world, sex is more than just reproducing. It's a battle of the sexes, a war over sperm. Sperm competition has been extremely important in the evolution and diversification of insects. Males are, of course, competing to make sure their sperm makes it into the female reproductive tract. At the same time, females are able to manipulate which sperm make it to successfully fertilize the egg. The female seeks multiple sexual partners, giving her offspring a diverse genetic portfolio and a greater chance at survival. But the male seeks to father all the offspring. The more paternity, the better the chances for his genes. What the male wants and the female needs are in conflict and has spawned an evolutionary arms race, stretching the limits of evolution. A far cry from the shark's simple clasper, insects have evolved the widest variety of penis shapes on the planet. In one of the most shocking, the male damselfly's penis has sharp horns at the tip and spiky thorns down the side. If it looks like a scrub brush, there's a reason. The male uses his tool to scrape out the sperm of his rivals before depositing his own. This technique removes more than 90% of the existing sperm, virtually guaranteeing the offspring will be his and the males of other insect species take even greater pains to guarantee a return on their deposit. There's a great strategy that some insects and also some mammals have come up with, which is called a copulatory plug. And after a male mates with a female, some of the semen hardens and becomes a plug, and it prevents other males from being able to mate with the female. It's a pretty good strategy. But honeybees take it a step further, not just using a plug, they are the plug. Tens of thousands of male bees compete for the queen. Only one gets to mate with her. Think he's the lucky one? Think again. Upon reaching climax, his penis rips away from his body and becomes stuck inside the queen. He dies in order to lock his sperm inside her. But despite this ultimate sacrifice, female bees evolved a countermeasure, a way to pop out the plug freeing the female to choose the sperm of another, maybe better mate. In bees, at least, females are winning the sexual arms race. But in other species, the males are taking the lead. In stick insects, males have gone beyond the removable plug, evolving into living chastity belts. They attach to their mates for weeks to prevent any other male from fertilizing her eggs. And the male love bug takes this strategy a radical step further. Once he locks his sex organ inside his partners, he throws away the key. The male's commitment to the act is total. Once joined, he spends the rest of his life in the act of copulation. After the couple is through mating, he will die to be dragged around by the female until she lays her eggs eggs all fathered by that single male. From species to species, the sexual arms race is ongoing throughout the insect world. But in one familiar group, females may have found a way to finally end the war. 
Entomologist Ron Harrison heads up the cockroach extermination lab at the Orkin Training Center in Atlanta. To come up with ways to kill these ultimate survivors, Harrison spends his days studying the species most commonly found in homes. 95% of all cockroach problems in, in urban situations are German cockroaches. They're very quick in their reproductive abilities, and therefore that helps them become resistant to products that we actually use to try to get rid of them. Evolution has provided cockroaches a host of traits that make them almost impossible to eliminate. They can live a month without food and last hours without oxygen. But most critical to their survival is their speed of reproduction, a quality that might indicate that cockroaches have sex all the time, except they don't. Once a female has had sex and has that sperm, she's able there to hold it and then fertilize as she needs, rather than have to have sex again. Because of this one adaptation, the female needs to mate only once to remain pregnant for the rest of her life. Her one act of sex can yield hundreds of thousands of offspring, a remarkable ratio. This benefits the female in more ways than one. Mating in itself is costly. The more a female mates, the lower her probability of survival. Um, perhaps because there's some damage that occurs, they might be at risk of predation, and there's even some seminal fluids that carry toxins that decrease female survival. After her one act of sex, the female carries fertilized eggs with her throughout her entire life. So every female in the colony has the potential to become a colony herself. In pest control, what's really scary to us then is if you happen to have uh, a German cockroach in the cuff of your pants or in your pocket or in a box that comes from the grocery store and it happens to be a pregnant female, that's all that's needed to get an entire population going. This adaptation has given the species the ultimate survival advantage. When you look at the whole evolution of animals, these started out 400 million years ago and are continuing to be very successful. You know, when it comes to looking at reproductive biology, you've got to say that cockroaches are a superstar. The battle of the sexes has made cockroaches, together with the rest of the insects, the most diverse group of animals on Earth. The drive to reproduce shapes not only insect life, but mammals as well, including us. Everywhere in the natural world, sex gets everyone bent out of shape.